Hey guys, it's Alex here from Alexify. First, I just want to say that I hope all of you are all doing well and safe. We are in a, such a difficult time right now, so I just want to send love to people around the world. Okay, so today's video is about the gaming on the S20 Ultra, and this is specifically for those who got the Exynos version, so like mine. Um, so I got the suggestion from the comment section that there is an app from the Galaxy Store called the Game Plugins, which is this one right here. Okay, so all you have to do is go ahead and head to the Galaxy Store right here, and then type in Game Plugins, and this is the app that you are looking for, the jigsaw icon right here. So go ahead and download it, and once it's done, open the app, and then you will have these two modules, which is the Game Booster Plus and Performance Z. So the reason why I didn't get the daily limits is because um, I actually don't have any limits for playing games for myself but for anyone that does, you, can, you guys can go ahead and download it. Uh, I think you can also customize the, you know, the time, the date per day. So I think it's pretty good especially if you have kids. But you know, it depends on you guys. But the real star of the show is right here, the Game Booster Plus. So what it does, is let you customize all of your games, the performance, the FPS, every single thing. You guys can see right here. You can see the graph of the GPU, CPU, FPS, etc. And all you do is customize right here. So I set everything to maximum, which this phone actually really needed. As you can see from the last video that I posted, how the performance of the Exynos version is very bad. But with this app, I can tell you, it performed really well, even though it gets a little hot. So you can set to battery saving mode for those who want to save battery, or you want to set to balance, max FPS, high quality, or just customize, which what I did right here. So I made the graphic quality to the max, max FPS, brightness automatic, and you also can apply to every single game right here. You can touch it there. So another module that you should get is the Performance Z. So what it does is it shows the FPS, CPU, GPU, and temperature on the little window, floating window. So pretty much like it, show, it shows all the statistics during the gameplay. And you can move it around. You'll see it later in the video. So once you finish downloading all the modules that you like, you're pretty much done. You can start any games you like. In this case, I'll try the PUBG Mobile. And this is the performance in window, right here. It shows you all the stats of the, of the game currently. So you also can customize this little window right here. So the, first so the first method is like, you can hold it like this. So you can choose to show the FPS, CPU, GPU, temperature. And this bar right here is the opacity. And then this one is to set the, whether you like it, Portrait or landscape, pin it, hide it, auto fold. I set this one to off so I can have like this window right here on all the time. But also if you touch it, you can hide it right here. You also can customize the other way by pulling down the not notification bar and then touch this little arrow, go down to performance Z right here and touch this little arrow again and click edit. It's the same thing. Okay, so I will show you guys the match that I played and I can tell you guys really the performance is amazing. It's so much smoother, there's no lag and the FPS is quite consistent. But as usual, the phone still heats up quite a lot. As you can see right now, it's 41 degrees. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yes, it's 41 degrees. So I hope you guys can enjoy this footage. See you guys there.
So here's another great game that I have been playing and it's pretty graphics intensive. It's called the Black and Soul Revolution. This game is crazy. And it's an MMORPG. It's actually a pretty good game. It just got released in Southeast Asia. I think it's on the 5th. So anyone living in Southeast Asia, you can give it a try. It's a beautiful game. Well here, once it in the game, right here, this is my character. Please don't focus on the name. I was just playing around with it. <laughs> now I have to spend money to change the name. So the performance is really, it's, it's really good. It's so smooth. But as you can see right here, the temperature is 42. Let's just walk around. So it's very smooth. Look at that. It's beautiful graphics. So I'll give it a Keep the door right here. Look at that. Oh, you guys only can see that right here. Much easier. Yeah, use a lot of GPU as well. Look at the temperature is 43. Well, the the highest that I that I that I've seen it's uh it's about 46, 47. Yeah, I know it's hot. It sometimes get a little uncomfortable to the touch, but it's okay. Okay, so that's pretty much the game. So I'm gonna show you the footage that I took about on this game. So see you guys there. So hey guys, if you haven't get a chance to get the app, I totally recommend the game plugins. It helps me with games, it makes me enjoy the phone much more. And with constant update from Samsung, I think the phone will get much better. So if you enjoyed the video and this video helps you, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and please subscribe. Remember guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Cheers!